Hello friends, in this session we are going to learn how to create group and add users in GitLab. So let's start. In this video we will cover some topic here like uh, how to create group in GitLab and add users in GitLab, delete the group from the GitLab and delete the users from the GitLab. So firstly we will see here what is meant by group in the GitLab. Okay, so in GitLab, you use group to manage one or more related projects at same time. You can use group to manage permission for your projects. If someone has access the group, they can access to all the projects in the group. So we will see its meaning of that. Means what here project A and project b okay so in that a project and in that b project these these two projects are in one group okay so in that one group some users add in that projects in a or some an another users add in the b projects okay so these these users they can access the project okay in that the group okay but this a project access the members of the project they can cannot access the b b project okay so like that you can access only you give the permission for that project a and project b they can access if they give the permission for that okay so see what is users in gitlab so members are users and groups who have access your project okay so each members get role which determines what they can do in the project so if uh, in in uh, one group project a and project b the, then group access group access is given to the one member then they can access both project a and b like that okay so let's see how to create a group in the gitlab okay so let me open this firstly gitlab and sign in okay here i have already signed in here and you have to go home page after that home page here groups are present click on this group And here two groups present here DevOps and demo project. Okay. So if you have to create another group, then click on this new group. Click on this create group and give the name for the group. So I will give here sample project. Okay. And here you are all of the group. It's created by default. And visibility, it's uh, private and public. You, you can choose the as your requirement. I choose the private. Okay. So for that project, you will select the role. So it's uh, I will select the engineer. And you can select as your requirement from this. Okay. So who will be using this group? So it's uh, click on this just me, then create for the just me. Okay. And if I want to create my company because I have to uh, give an access for this project, that's why. And choose the group, what we have to purpose here. So I want to store my code. So you as your requirement, you can select from this or you can choose different region. Okay, so if you are to add members in that uh, group from directly, so give here email, okay, email address or I will uh, see you in another, okay. So click on this create group and here automatically now create the group sample project, okay. So now in that sample project, I have I want to create a 
add a users not not a create i want to add a users okay for that click on this manage and in that manage mem click on this members so see here here only one member that's me it's include here so you have to add members to click on this invite members okay so you can uh, give invitation for the members to the sample project okay so click on this users email name text box or field and which you want to add the members you can type here username okay so i want to add a devops user to okay devops user to and select the role for that particular member uh, if you have to use for the guest or reporter developer maintainer or owner from from that role you can choose for this member so i will select the developer and give the access for the expiration date if you are you require this then click on this invite so see here okay now it's create a uh, add a pro users here okay this is the add users and its role is developer and it's a create a user okay then if you had you want to add another member in that group then click on again and fill this information as we earlier uh, fill this and click on this invite then create a or add a user here okay so now in this way we will see how to create a group and how to add user okay in that group so see now we will see how to delete this user which we add this so here more actions present here okay so firstly if you are you are in home page you will see here if you are in home page then go to groups go to groups and in that groups where i want to delete project from uh, delete uh, group or delete user from this sample project okay so click on this group and you will see the group go to manage member and here users are present here i want to delete this user okay i want to delete this user click on this more action and remove the member so yes i want to subgroup project and related issue and merge click on the uh, checkbox and remove the member okay in that way you can remove this user if i want to delete this group okay i want to delete this sample project group then click on this if you are in home page go to group and here i want to delete this sample project group okay i want to delete this sample project group then click on this more action and delete this and now after that remove the group okay so remove the group and enter the this sample project and its id okay copy and paste here and confirm click on this confirmation okay now it's deleted see here now you can check the group and delete from this group as a sample project it's delete from the group okay so in this way we will learn how to create group in gitlab and how to add the users in gitlab and delete the group and delete 
the user from the GitLab. So thank you for the watching video.